Hey guys, this guy, this is just what I do personally and what worked for me. You might have to tweak it to your liking, but feel free to give me some info and feedback in the comment section below. Tell me what you think uh, is good about the video and what you would like different. Anyway, enjoy! Alright, so let's start off with talents and glyphs. For the level 15 talents, I went with Displacer Beast. This is because it works like a blink and it increases your movement speed by 50% for 4 seconds after use. For the level 30 talents, I go with Ysiris Gift or Scenarian Ward. This is because Ysiris Gift is working great as a raid heal at times, as well as a good self heal. And Scenarian Ward is really nice for a strong self heal or a strong heal on a specific target. Typhoon works uh, great as a add control, it can slow adds as well as it can knock them back. As the level 60 talent I w went with the incarnation, Chosen of a Loon. This uh, plainly increases all your damaging spells by 15% and lasts for half a minute. For the level 75 talent I went with Ursul's Vortex. It's uh, working kind of like Typhoon, it slows enemies by 50% and when they try to leave the circle they are getting pushed back into the middle of it. For the level 90 talent I went with Nature's Vigil. This is a strong raid heal that uh, lasts for half a minute and it can also be combined with Incarnation Chosen of a Loon. And it got a 1.5 minute cooldown so it can be used to uh, a lot. For the level 100 talent I went with Euphoria. This one uh, increases uh, the um, balance energy cycle time by 50% and increases the lunar and solar empowerment and reduces the cost time of the affected spells, in other words, uh, in this case, uh, Starfire, Moonfire, Wrath and Sunfire. Alright, then we got the glyphs. For the major glyphs, I first of all went with Glyph of Moon Warding. This one removes all bonus armor granted by the Moonkin form, but instead gives you 10% extra maximum health. This is because the raid bosses deal mainly magical damage, and that's why armor doesn't mean anything. I also went with Glyph of Stampeding Roar, it increases the radius of Stampeding Roar by 30 yards. It can also be cast while not in a bear or cat form, so I don't have to lose a lot of DPS by actually casting it, as well as I am sure to reach a lot more allies this way. I also went with Glyph of Rebirth, now everyone I use Rebirth on will be rest with 100% health. Uh, as far as <coughs> I'm concerned, Moonkin got two lesser glyphs uh, or minor glyphs uh, which actually increases survivability or damage. One of them are Glyph of Grace. I don't have to be in cat form to take the reduced falling damage. As well as Glyph of Untamed Stars. Your Starfall and Sunfall now hit all enemies within 40 yards. Without this glyph, you uh, need to have uh, Moonfire or Sunfire on the enemy for them to get hit by a Starfall. I only remove this glyph on Gorefiend uh, on Mythic difficulty. For my macros, I got hashtag show tooltip. This one shows the spell that's either on the top or right after the show tooltip. My first spell is slash cast celestial alignment. This one increases my damage overall by 20%, it stops my uh, balance bar from moving completely, it also makes it so whenever I cast moonfire or sunfire it applies the dot of the other one. 
My second spell is the level 60 talent, Incarnation Chosen of Elune. This one increases my damage by 15%. You can also choose to have a racial active in as the last spot. In my case, that would be Slash Cast Berserking. It increases my haste by 15% for 10 seconds, and kinda works as a small bloodlust at the very beginning. I will probably just post uh, my whole macro in the description below, so feel free to copy it from there. 3 pot at 3 to 4 seconds, and then your burst macro at roughly 2 seconds, and send away a star surge, follow up with a star fire, and then a moon fire. This is while your cooldowns are active. Then make sure to use star fire every time it's on lunar and wrath every time it is on solar. Use a star surge as a um, filler spell also to increase the damage the star fire and the wrath deals. Star surge will give you a buff which increases the damage of your next two casts of Starfire while it is on Lunar, and the next three casts of Wrath while it is on Solar. Starfire will get 20% increased damage, and Wrath will get 30% increased damage. As a boomy, it is very important to make sure you know where you're actually gonna stand. You need to know the fight in before to get the most out of your damage, since you can't do that much damage on the move. And then most importantly of all, remember to keep your dots up on the target at all times and only apply them while they're at their uh, respectively peaks. This will increase their damage dealt over time as well as their damage right away. AoE rotation with and without the Archimon Trinket. Let's start without. AoE without the Archimon Trinket is all about decision making whether or not to use Starfall or Star Surge. Other than that, it's all about keeping your dots up on at least 4 to 5 mobs just to get the most out of that damage. Also, uh, when the Lunar and Solar are at its peak, Make sure to dot up the enemy that you got a feeling will live the longest, for maximum damage. Anyway, the golden rule I've set for myself is, it should be at least a minimum of 3-4 to four mobs before you bother using Starfall without the Archimon Trinket. Other than that, just make sure to keep your dots up at 100% on the mobs you've chosen and you should be golden. AoE with the Archimon Trinket, however, is not really that different from single target. The only difference is to keep up uh, dots on the mobs as much as possible, and uh, maintaining them, because every time you use Star Surge, or close to every time, you will automatically got, uh, get Star Fall. And let me put this in perspective. Say on uh, fights like Sulharak or Menoroth, the damage my Starfall deals is usually 20% of my maximum damage. Which says a lot about this trinket and how much you actually need it as a Moonkin. So with that, thank you for watching and let me know what you think down in the comments. Feel free to like, share and subscribe and until next time guys, bye bye!